Hi, I'm Teresa Jackson. Today I have a quick and very useful Adobe Illustrator tip. If you've ever needed to pick a Pantone color from a Pantone swatch book, you know how time consuming that can be. Flipping through pages of color chips looking for that perfect one, especially if you are trying to match colors from an existing art. Illustrator makes this really easy. I'm going to show you how to convert existing colors to Pantone swatch colors with Adobe Illustrator. We're looking at a flat color version of my Orchard View color business logo. I created this art with CMYK color values in a CMYK Illustrator document. Now I want to find the best Pantone colors for each of the existing colors in this art. I have three panels open for this, swatches, color, and color guide. You can find these panels under the window drop-down menu. All the panels are listed here. The ones with check marks by them are open on the screen. The first thing I like to do when I'm working with colors in Illustrator is to get rid of all these extra swatches in the swatches panel. You can see by default we've got way too many of them. I'm not using any of those. In the upper right hand corner of the swatches panel is a little icon that gives you a drop down for a lot of options. Right here we have select all unused and that's essentially going to select all of these swatches because I'm not using any of them in this artwork. And then I can just click on the trash can here and the trash can brings up this menu delete swatch selection yes and that clean this out so now it's going to be much easier to see the new swatches that we add. Let's start with the red color ball here. I'll select the red, make that the active color. I want to see the values of that red. So I'm going to click in the upper right hand corner of the color panel and say show options. And this shows me the CMYK values of this red. What we want to do is convert this red to the closest matching Pantone color. We use the color guide panel to find the Pantone swatch colors. In the bottom left corner of the color guide panel is this little pop-up here and here's a list of a bunch of different color themes. If you go to color books, under color books is the Pantone solid coated. We're going to pick that. And notice all the chips here change to Pantone colors. If I click on that first red chip right there, this red ball is now filled with Pantone 485. You'll also see that the Pantone 485 color chip was added to our swatches panel. So let's continue and convert all of these colors. I'll select the green ball next and you'll see in the color guide that the green was loaded here but it hasn't changed these tint values. So I'm going to select green which changes that to the base and now this first color chip is the Pantone. So I'll click that and now the green is 7482 Pantone. We'll do the same with the blue and we'll click here to then add those Pantone colors and then we'll click the first chip to convert that to Pantone. Pantone 7687. We'll do that with the orange. We'll click here and then we'll click here to convert it to Pantone and then we'll do that with the yellow and we'll click here to add that as the main color and then here to color it the Pantone and the last color value is this gray and the gray is actually just filled with an 80% black. We'll add that, click the first chip here and that 80% black converted to Pantone 446 and now you'll see in my swatches that I have five, no, six Pantone colors for my logo. So this logo art is no longer created out of CMYK color values, but it's created from Pantone color swatches.